Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the second video. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Texic 3 with your boy Lemon. We chilling in a boat, right? Look at our glasses, brother. They so sexy. Guess what we found? We found the most popular video on my channel. It is the best power setup in Texic 3. So yeah, let's go check it out real quick. We can go defeat it. I have not been on this boat in so long. So let's uh, let's go check it out. What is up here? Is it still Spawner Central? I'm gonna get a chicken. Because I remember this is Spawner Central. But yeah, I'm gonna finish looting this ship and we'll see where this video takes us. You guys will not believe what I just found in this chest. This is like the craziest, funniest thing ever. Look at this. Impossibly hard wheat sticks. Completely inedible like that. They need to be softened up. Even your sweaty palms aren't enough for that. They should probably soak in some water for a while. Like what the heck? That is like the weirdest, funniest description for... Some freaking wheat sticks. What the heck? Yeah, I just wanted to share that. Isn't that kind of weird? Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny too. Anyways, yeah, we'll see where we're at. So we are home, right? Look at this, dude. We have a wonderful, hard, impossibly hard wheat stick, right? We got our first pickaxe right there. Just a little trophy wall, you know? Look at how beautiful it is. You know, the doggies love it. Actually found out one of the best ways to create an item sorter, right? Let's jump into creative mode real quick. Alright everybody, so we are here in the creative test world to try and show you and demonstrate an even better understanding of how the sorting system works. So essentially we're using the buildcraft mod. The way this mod works, it uses pipes to help sort items through pipe pulsers, wooden pipes. There's so many different types of pipes that I'll help you in many different ways. And today I'm going to be explaining a few of them to help you get a better understanding of how to sort your items even easier. Alright, let's take a look at these. So we have an iron transport pipe, a cobblestone structure pipe, a golden transport pipe, a void transport pipe, a wooden transport pipe, a cobblestone transport pipe, and a diamond transport pipe. As you can see, it says this one sorts items, this one just helps transport them, this one is an extraction pipe, this is where you are going to extract your items from a chest, this is where you can actually destroy extra items if you don't want them, you can speed up items in a pipe, yeah, and this one routes items. So, to get a better understanding of all these, we shall take out all of them. We start with the golden transport pipe, which helps speed item like travel time way faster. See, this golden pipe is essentially the same thing as a cobblestone and stone pipe. But the difference is this one is significantly faster. Now in other mods you might need to power these, however in Texic you don't actually need to power it, it just moves at its own speed. Okay, so we talked about this before, but the wooden uh, transport pipes, these extract just stuff from the chest. So if we put some leaves in there, we will actually get it pulled out. Now as you see, they are actually going left, and they're kind of going in random directions. Now the way that you can actually fix this is with a iron transport pipe. But I just want to show you one more thing. If you have two inputs like this, so you see how both of these pipes come to a junction right here, you can actually use an iron pipe to fix this. Now, you see this clear, uh, like clear output side? This is where all the items will be transferred to. So I'm not sure what will happen on this side, but if the items were to be routed this way. Oh, I guess what would happen is the items from this chest would go down, hit here, and they can't go left or right, so they're just gonna go back into this chest. However, the items in this chest will go out, and they will go down. Let's just show you real quick. So if we pipe, pull both of these, they're all just going back into this chest. We only show you one. As you see, they're all going into that chest. Now if we turn this one back on, you can see that it hits this junction and just goes back. Now the way you fix that is by, with a wrench, 
uh, from Buildcraft and you click the side that you want it to go to. Now as you see, no item is actually flowing back into the side that it was and they are actually going into the output. Now if we turn these off, let's suppose we bring polished granite into the situation. We'll put it in both and we put in granite in one side. Now if you don't want that item to be sorted, or if you don't like if you don't want that item at all, you can add a diamond transport pipe. This is essentially just a filter. And if you add the void transport pipe, we can completely remove one of these items from the situation. So we are going to do polished granite. And the way we do that, as you can see, the diamond transport has a yellow output side, and this is where the filter will go. So any item that matches that output will be put to that direction. So you have polished granite in the yellow, and so all polished granite will end up in the void. No polished granite will be in this chest. So let's just check that this actually works, just to show you. Now be careful, because if you don't add a filter, any item that you don't want will be voided, or has the chance to be voided. Right, let's take out the leaves, we'll put it behind there, so you start seeing some polished granite. And as you can see, they are making their way into, into it. I don't know why it scared me, it's because the granite, polished granite and the other granite match. But as you can see, no polished granite is making its way into the system. And that is just a way that you can void items you don't want using a sorting method. Now the way you actually get the pipe pulsers, such as right here, these are the pipe pulsers, is by a laser and an assembly table. Now you don't need specifically the sterling engine, but the redstone engine will not work. You can use, however, the combustion engine. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is because I have only used sterling, so I apologize on that. But this is how you make the assembly table. It's fairly cheap, just a uh, diamond gear and some obsidian. And the way you make it is you need a redstone engine and some iron. And the way you do it is you put, if we actually click that, it'll go away. Just to show you if we add, two of these, it'll pop up, you click it, and now it will be making it. And because there's coal in here, and it is being powered by a lever, this will actually power on. So the sterling engine is powering this. And as you can see, when it gets done, the pipe pulse will just pop out. It is almost done. And any day now, Where'd it go? Oh, it went in this chest? Interesting. Okay, so apparently if you have an extra chest, it'll just automatically go in there. So, now with the sorting system, you can actually sort any type of item. You can even sort non-stackable items. So for instance, all these items have a filter in it. If we remove the beacons, and we remove the beacon filter, we can actually put a Minecraft sword in this... Uh, in this filter and it will be sorted. Now I'm not sure if durability does matter, however, it will sort items. So you can, I don't think durability does matter. So now if we actually put this Minecraft sword in here, and we'll put some leaves in here, the leaves should be sorted in here. Let's actually take all this out. Okay, so as you can see it's all empty. And if we just put one leaf in there, one white sponge, one flush green, I think you guys get the point, right? It will be sorted because it has an output area. So if we look, Minecraft sort end up in here. And any item that does not have a filter will end up in the first available chest. You have to be careful. For instance, if you're going like this with a diamond pipe and you run it along this way, and you go up, Items that reach into this chest, since this one doesn't have a filter, they will go into this chest. So you want to be careful and you want to plug your pipes where you don't need it, so that way the items will not be sorted there. And that pretty much summarizes most of it. So if you guys do have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. I will answer to as much knowledge, but it's really not that complicated and I think you guys can handle it. So yeah, let's get back to the video. So now that we have kind of set up our sorting system, we are actually going to go fight the end dragon because 
It's going to take a good forward step in progress in Minecraft, plus you get some shulker shells out of it. So yeah, let's go find the end. Instant health, let's see, is it down here? It is, let's go. Okay, so we got our first elytra once we kill this. Oh, mine, he's not even gonna try. Let's go, we got elytra. Next episode, I got some big plans for some farms that we can do. We're definitely going to do the super ultra mega XP farm plus power setup. You know, the super ultra mega XP farm and power setup. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching.